54 rounds of CS on Nuke, but here it is, the old dusty Mirage that we're all so familiar with. And let's see, Tizzy and Up Through Connect are fast in this round with the jungle smoke to accompany this push, but the rest of the gang are up through short and twist oh. will bite the dust. Down goes Plopski as well, and B has fallen, but Nork and Hampus getting a kill apiece on opposing sides of the map have made this field doable in the three on three. Yeah, and IP now having the realization that, wait, these aren't three round halves, these are 15 round halves. We have to deal with this all game long. And Keto is making it a quick affair with the P250. Entry into B, shutting down both rotations and Searson catches Reds mid air. Big, a nice little B execute to start things off and take the pistol round in their favor. And so in that death segment, Frankie was saying how, you know, like neither one of these teams wants to go home. Well, that's true because it's ESL 1 Cologne. No one wants to leave it. But you think about what this means to these teams. You look down NIP. This is a, this is an organization that's synonymous with this event. And then like for two individuals in particular in Hampus and Nork, this is their first Cologne. They've only ever played in Gamers Legion uh, in qualifiers. They've never been at the main event. So they want to keep that dream burning. And for Big, they're a German team. They're on home soil. They want to relive the 2018 glory days but this time do it right and they're coming off the back of an online season that's been so great to them so so much riding on this for both of these teams Hampus down here one of the guys in question that I was saying this probably means a lot to opening this round up with a deagle but he's lost teammates over here in middle leaving them now in a three on at four in spite of this force buy and back to the b site for big they've got up catwalk and there's no one to stop them those rotates are getting into b at the nick of time rez with a deagle and twist tucked on the car getting spammed down by the glills you can hear them rattling tattling off Tabson gets a double kill and Hampus has found a galil but it's not going to be put to much use here as the bomb's already planted he's got keto dead to right and well, now he's trying to escape with that AK dropped up on the catwalk. Big don't want to make it easy for him, though. And Tizian has already begun the hunt. Oh, dear Hampus. Patient play. He knows he doesn't have to rush away, but with all the time it ticks off, Searson gets closer. And even though he dies, Tizian can trade, grabbing the AK. Only the MAC-10 lost. Not a big problem for Big. And now NIP, uh, a little eco before we get into those gun rounds. Even a Zeus on Plopski as well. So let's see where he's taking that one. I don't know about you guys, but I'm down for as much silence as I can. Because if this game goes on as long as the last one, I might not have a voice left for the rest of ESL 1 Cologne. Now, let's see. We'll keep it nice. We'll keep it calm. Hampus and Plopski here at the B-bomb site. A zoom from Plopski, but it never sees the light of day. And so B now belongs to Biggs. And Tara is coming in with another. And this is nice. It's clean. It's exactly how it should be. I'm very happy about that. And Searson's making a lot of money so he can buy this AWP up as soon as possible, which will likely be coming out in this follow-up round for Big. Exactly what you want. And yeah, that that head to head. I feel like we didn't get, get a lot of Nork versus Searson on Nuke, right? Um, but I think this is the map where that could change, where we could finally have some head to head orping, right? More standard positions. T's going middle with theirs. Uh, you know, peaking connector for, for Nork in this half or fighting window. More likely to get those battles in rather than close range secret control and B executes. There's a 4K from Searson, really making that Moolah. Could even stick with it, right? If you if you want, you know that even showing that MAC-10 in that round puts pressure on NIP to spend more money on head armor so they don't have that happen to them. And so that's a bit of a mind game coming into this one. It's early days. We'll see what Searson decides to do as he sweeps his way through the B site in the previous. So Hugo, how do we settle who we're billing for the uh, the throat medicine we're going to need? Is it just the loser of this series? I think that's a fair way to do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's hold him to it. Keto going to hold down Rez up in Palace and Hampus 
comes in with a response. It's a four on four. Ooh, Orc there it is. tries to flick down to Searson, but Searson comes out ahead. So that man advantage going back in favor of Big. Twist in the meantime has thrown a bit of a twist into this round as he goes aggressive in through the B apartments. While he does now assume oh. that this side of the map is clear, that's a bit of misinformation. And the only kill that might present oh. itself is this one on Taquito. As now the B site falls into the hands of Big, it's going to be a three on three retake for the NIP guys. Yeah, Tabson's trying to take market, an aggressive position that Plopski is delaying his rotation to. Twist with the smoke. I don't know if he could even see Tizian, but he hears the plant, and that's all he needs, taking him down off of the site. Tabson's still waiting for this lurk out the back. Twist getting wall banged by Searson, his second kill of the round. I love this delay from Plopski, but Tabson is so aware. He's so ready for it. As soon as he moves away, they swap spots, and Plopski's now been seen. Tabson deletes him from the round. Hampus in the same position that they just cleared. They weren't ready for it. Looking at short, Hampus now in the one on one. Tabson picking up a Galil. There is a kit on Hampus. He's going to put the smoke on the bomb. He needs to go a bit wider and might force a spray from Tabson. He's holding his own, finally going for some shots, swinging out. And Hampus wins the battle. Great patience there. Could have just sticked the defuse. Might have even gotten away with it, given the angle that Tapson took. But regardless, it's a round win for NIP. And Hampus even saves the AWP as well. Nork may have died in the ladder room last time, but it's going to give him a second try with that weapon. And also this from Twist, the timing. Oh, not that Keto expected him there, but that was a very, very good check from him. And uh, hey, again, you know, maybe, maybe Twist can see through that. Even though we can't, smokes render differently uh, on spectator than they do client. So there's a chance, regardless. Twist with a big round, finding two. And that was something that, again, Frankie, uh, Frankie brought up, which was when we saw NIP the other day on this map against OG Twist, his inaugural game without the AWP, uh, he really struggled. He had a really, really rough time on that B bomb site. Obviously, it's a hard spot to play and, and one that you're constantly just rotating to A retakes. But uh, against OG, they, they had a lot of cat takes, as we've already seen from Big. And so Twist was getting very much pressured and uh, you know removed from rounds. So already seeing him have a nice little 2K there, saving NIP in the apartments, sets us up for a good game. NIP Ooh. looking to take ramp control away from Big. And they also move into Palace. This is great. NIP, they've just unlocked a, a heap of information. It's like they found some lost archives. They know exactly what's happening in this round now. They've cleared the apartments. They've cleared ramp. They know it's not A. And so now these players in B, they're ready for what's about to come their way. And there's two fast flanks ready to come through. A leg from Nork helps Plopski solidify that kill. The only X factor here is Tabson through short and Nork deals with it well. Looking to put even more on the tally here, but he does get wrapped by Keto, who follows up with another. And so we're into this two on two. Rez and Hampus, they have been sneaking all round long through uh -huh. T-Spawn around the world and they drop the bomb as it's getting planted. Zantara's never spots the double ramp, uh, double palace play either, apartments rather, and Keto now gets it down to the 1v1. He expects, he reads, and now tag down low. Just Rez still to beat, but he's dodging the shots right now. 35 seconds. Rez going to swing for the peak, and he finds the kill to put that second round on the board for NIP. Oh, they're already setting a precedent, Harry. These are these really quick uh, uh, flanks coming through the B apartments have caught Big off both times now. And, well, NIP, you know that Big are going to be constantly watching their back moving into this B site in the future. Whether that comes to help or hurt them, we'll have to wait and see. Back and forth, three to two in the favor of Big. NIP looking to equal up that score as they control the money. Big do not. It's pistols and it's out the A site. Not fast, but early. As all five players set outside the ramp, Tabson with a con smoke and he's got a double flash as well. Walk with a missed shot, has to fall off. He's got no armor as well, so these PT-50s can just churn through him. Propsky coming through the connector smoke and all these CTs facing. I love the confidence from NIP, right? Obviously, we saw a lot of just very quick rounds and, and people bringing the fight on the CT side of Nuke, but uh, not fearful of the pistols, knowing they shouldn't let Big get the bomb plant unless they absolutely have to. That's going to be the score equaled up. Searson coming back in with the AWP. Facing off once again against Nork. Ah, 
Campus runs the gauntlet early on and gets that nade out. Tabson gets caught crossing. The rest of Big setting up here outside of the A site. Nork already posted up on Palace and he could have another kill ready to come his way. Kito doesn't know it, but he's a matter of pixels away from certain death. Does back Ooh. off and now... Ventares sneaking out through ramp has gotten pretty deep within this A site. Nork's back in CT. There's a man hidden on Firebox as well. That's going to be Hampus looking to play into this round a little bit later now. As this A side play looks to come through, Hampus blindsides one, gets the information that Zantares is there, and Zantares needed that kill, really, because now he's stuck here in Sandwich. Ooh, the flash what? is good. Zantares just about getting away with his life, but they know that they've got him trapped here out in Sandwich. The flash is leaving everyone on big blind, and this retake might not even be a retake. This bomb can't get into the site. It gets dropped crossing on Tizian. A nice kill from Kito, but it all falls onto Zintares. Not usually an AWPer. Here he is trying to don it, but Plopsky gets the better of him. And so NIP, they're going to take the lead as they scow scavenge a fourth round. It calling in a very early tactical timeout here. Yeah, when it feels too good to be true, it often is, right? Zantara's getting so deep, clearing Sandwich, clearing Under, clearing, you know, Tetris, uh, not seeing anyone peak CT either. Well, it's Hampus hidden at the back of the site. Hampus even flashes uh, after he sees Zantara's and peeks with the flash. Not after, not as it pops, but as he throws it. Zantara's turns around and then flicks back as he realizes what he's done and gets that kill. Despite that, NIP still have all the rotations towards A. They've been very quick to rotate. The communication has looked really, really good. Not just the B flanks, but everyone surrounding A right there. Uh, and Twist getting boosted up in the jungle above that smoke was a bit of a problem for Big trying to cross the bomb to the site. Plopsky is mobile <laughs> as he moves across the room to fist bump. They're just swapping setups, you know. Threat, play this round for me. But uh, yeah, Big broke again. It's going to be back to pistols. Bouncing that molly into the window. It's a nice way of doing it. Worth noting, we're seeing Popsky play Van in a lot of these rounds. That's where Twist was in the game that he really struggled. So that maybe there's already been some adjustments, some changes here for NIP on this B site. And right now, the results are showing a full shutdown on the B rush. Big get no one in. One man out of the apartments, but the rest die up in the window. You saw nothing. Close your eyes. And five to three. I was just then finishing the script off for the rest of this game. <laughs> yeah, this one's going to five OTs. Shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, funnily enough, Tom Eric told me, uh, our producer told me right before the game, uh, oh yeah, you know, as each uh, as each OT happens, uh, on every other OT we go to a break. Uh, you know, so for one OT, for three OTs, for five, five OTs, and I jokingly said like, yeah, I mean, sure, I'll be ready when we go to five OTs for that. Well, we almost did. He almost jinxed. That was why they put it in the script, man. You can hear them in the other room just typing away, getting it all on there, right? Tizian holding these lower tunnels, and he's looking to flip the script here with an early kill onto Rez, but Twist has moved in through the upper halls and deals Ooh. with Tizian well, so immediately into a four and four. I love this aggression that we're seeing from NIP, because immediately Big's hands are tied. They've got to commit to an A play. They've lost the apartments, and now they kind of know, like, with someone so deep, at least they have a chance of getting into A with a very slow rotation. But this is more than what NIP are ready for, right? They've cleared out B. They know it's not mid. They know it's not B. There's only one site left in the map. And so they've just <laughs> hunkered down with everyone here. Searson getting himself another Nork. Chiming in with one from CT. Searson trying to go up and over to deal with the AWP at the back of the site, and he will. Swinging out at stairs is Keto, and he falls, leaving Searson in the hot seat. 1v2 required the moment he stands up. Nasty oh, surprise oh. as Twist gets the better of him there. It's a defuse for NIP and a sixth round on the board as they now go double to that of Bigs 3. Yeah, it may have been Plopsky fighting from the top, but it's Twist to steal it away through the woodwork. NIP, these have been some lovely retakes so far in this map. They are looking very much in control, and this would be heartbreaking for Big to lose here, right? Think back to, if you can remember, many months ago at the start of this series, Big dominated NIP on the Ninja's map pick, and that was Vertigo, 16-5 to after a 12-3 CT side. We then go to Nuke. Big have a lovely start, a 9-6 T side. Looks all in control, and NIP, they just keep on giving. They never stop fragging, and now in the lead, 
been in control of the finale of an elimination match, keep in mind. Oh, high shot from Searson. Oh. He's following up, both through the smoke. And Big, well, you hear them... Well, they hear me talking down on them, and they pick it right back up. Not going down without a fight. Twist now has to make a bit of a stand here inside of the B site while he does deal with taps, and this is where Tizian's meant to wrap in through the apartments. Twist, another kill. Twists and turns, but Tizian out from the apartments has dealt with him. And we're into this 1v2. Zantara's a long way away from home, a long way away from this B bomb site, and with Hampus rooting in through these lower tunnels, he could cut off Zintares in rotation, at which point this is down to a 1v1. So this fight here matters oh, the no. most, and Hampus isn't ready for it. Why would you be? It's big, just about getting that fourth round up on the board. Some nice quick footwork from Searson to open the round up and try as Twist might to hold on. It's not enough. Oh, beautiful shots. The orbs have been very exciting in this series, as they often are, especially with this change from NIP to move a twist away from the primary orb and Nork onto it. Not seen Hampus picking it up all too much, but he was prolifically orping back on, especially Inferno, and even at times on Mirage in that OG series to start off clone. You can have no need for two orpers, although Keto has shown his hand at it back on Vertigo as well. But not here, not now. Scout for Searson, saving a bit of money. Do poor for the orb. And setting up smokes towards B. Twist is back up on the cart. Popsky is nowhere to be seen in the window, and Rez has just left on rotation. So NIP not very much expecting this B play, but maybe they should be. They've got a deep ramp set up. They have a lot of information. Taps and getting smoked. I think Zantaris threw that from the B apartments to set him up. Not Zantaris, sorry, someone else. But regardless of the player, the play is in. Popsky finds one on ladder, and now they can be ready for the B play. Great shot following up into the apartments drop, and Twist is holding his own on the bench as well. He's going to get mollied out, smokes it to stay alive, and Popsky is on the run for a 4k he's going to go out wide receiving a tag but it doesn't matter two hp four kills seven rounds all these numbers looking good for the ninjas this is unreal like think about it because because Hugo, you touched upon it right like vertigo nip just looked out of it like this looked like they didn't come into the day uh, ready for the challenge that is this big squad. And then Nuke, it is a brawl. They managed to pull it back on Big's map pick. And now here on Mirage, toe to toe versus Big, who are currently ranked one in the world, right? After a very successful time since moving online. And it's an age old idiom that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that could be the case for Big. Hampus oh hidden in this smoke. No one is ready for it. And so <laughs> Hampus just tears them apart. The B play cut down as Twist finishes it off and it's eight on the board for NIP. Yeah, I haven't seen someone do that since Sunny and Mouse Sports, right? Pushing Cat, getting in that smoke and just hiding and listening to footsteps. Not that Big made any, but he made the right call. He made the read that they walked right past. And Twist is definitely looking far more comfortable in this B-bomb site, right? He's not dying immediately on car or getting mollied out. He played, uh, he, he sprays down two from the van this time, but in the round prior, he hides on the bench. Big double molly him. He smokes the molly. He just lets Plopsky do the work. And sometimes that's all it is a B. It's just staying alive. It's stalling dropping your smoke, going full taco, and backing up towards the bench. Great work. Popsky through the smoke is opening up this round into middle, and right through the smoke bin, they run the gauntlet. Maybe not going too well for them. Hampers is slaughtering right now. Look at his KD, 17 and 7. He might want to one-up that. Searson's on the other side, and Hampers throwing in the nade. Bit of damage as well. Searson, oh, he can't even hit the shot. Rez just domes him. And this is looking like a fresh M NIP, a warmed up NIP. How could you not be after 54 rounds on the previous map? And it's the two X Sprout boys that are blossoming for big right now. They are the only two in double digits over in the big side of things. It's, it's, it's the old boys. It's the ones that we've come to know and love. Zantara's, Tabs, and Tizian with 10 kills between them. Both getting out fragged individually, uh, oh, sorry, as a three by the individuals of Keto and Searson. And we need everyone in big showing up 
if they want to get this one over the line because NIP, they're not here to play around. They're not playing games anymore. They are looking to send Big home. I love that call towards B. They quickly crouch next to Platt and Boost plops Gi up. So he is in the B apartments and pushing deep before Big are even ready for him. He mows them down and he gets out alive as well. It's only pistols for Big, but they're really getting made mincemeat of. And IP have everything under control. A is open for the taking, but playing from CT, it's a retake setup for NIP. And well, that's assuming they let the bomb go down, which is maybe the wrong assumption to make with them fighting from CT. Nork is covering the cross with his AWP, and even if he misses and big get close, Plopsky, oh, Rez is here as well. Oh dear, they both take fights. Rez falls short, Nork with the AWP. Oh dear, the knife's out. Oh, so close, but yes, yeah, so far. What else can you do when you run out of ammo? It's going to be 10 to 4 here for NIP. If you want to know how dominant these rounds have been, money is always a good a good kind of telling point there. Yeah. Plopsky with max cash, you know, if it weren't for buying the nades here. In the last four rounds, NIP have lost one player. So that is just incredibly dominant. And like someone like Rez, right, who's three and eight, hasn't even had to do a hell of a lot because the rest of the team have been. Yeah. He put in his work back on <laughs> Nuke. And so now he's got his What's legs up. He's again? relaxing. They're ready for this B play once more. Twist boosted in, going aggressive, gets out of there. And that's because Rez has already opened up onto Zentares, going aggressive in Palace. This aggression from NIP, Big just don't look ready for it at all. Tabson now creeping on out, trying to get revenge for his fallen comrade in the fall of Zentares. And while he does get it, Nork's immediately there to keep this in the favor of NIP. Hampus even spots the mid play. He sees the players looking to me meander their way in towards this B site, but still NIP a too strong hold here at the B side. They boost up Searson. Big, they need more. It definitely feels like they need more still. And 510, even that is hard enough. The Molly forces oh no. the peak, but a missed shot. Plopsky, still a nuisance, still a threat. Does get bested by Tizian, but it's Twist who's proving to be the problem right now. Leaves it just on the AWP for Big and into the window. He misses the jump. Little does he know it. That's just saved his life, albeit momentarily, because Grift has been flipped. Big, they're on the back foot, and it's looking like a fast B play from NIP to kickstart this pistol round. Red and Hampers looking to take the short rotation. We've got three in apps, and it looks like Tabson is ready for them. He's anticipating the push, but actually, is Antara still feeling his way there? They haven't showed their hand yet, apart from a couple of smokes on the B site. Rotation hasn't been called in for the two A players yet, Ooh. and the fights begin, Harry. Yeah, Nork's opened up, but no one's cleared out Tabson. The flash is good, and oh, he almost taps down another. That could have made all the difference, but they do go back, and they deal with Tabson. Tizzy and Keto, two on three. And if this pistol round eludes big, it could be a very fast, anticlimactic ending to this elimination best of three. Tizian rounding the corner, looking to get stuck in, trying to close the distance, and one of them gets spotted there by Nork. Both players now inside of the site, and Plotsky just deletes them. The round is over, and NIP, they get the pistol. They go 12-4 up. This comeback for big now becomes even more insurmountable. Yeah, that is a huge round to lose. It felt like big were late to the B site as well. They're in spawn buying, sneaking over, I guess by design. But even though Tapson has a great position, position that doesn't get checked, he has to go wide to stop the plant and it is covered. Boy, oh boy, NIP, you, you got to hats off to them. They have, they've kept this up. They've kept up the energy. They've not dropped off despite getting wrecked on their map pick. And right now they are in pole position to kick big out of ESL 1 Cologne 2020. Can they do it though? Will it be that easy? Oh, B play. Tantares and Tizzy in here to try and hold the line. Keita rotating in over at short, but both players falling right away. Leave Tizzy in the hot seat, and it's very hot indeed. Tabson doesn't stand the test of time, and this leaves Searson all alone in the 1v3. He's armed with a scout. This man has become synonymous with this weapon, but not this time around. Twist gets the better of him. NIP up against the four spy. They find another round. And so for Big, it's an eco. Likely going to have to give over 14 before that full buy ever even arrives.
I don't think I've seen any emotion out of Nork in this entire series. We've had him on camera like a thousand times and he has just looked the same. He is so chill, so relaxed, so cool, calm and collected. And uh, yeah, NIP, they have reason to be. 13-4 and a near full eco from Big. Just a few pistol upgrades and a flash and smoke. It's going to be the a site crunch for NIP. They're not waiting around and they're running them down. Hampus in the connector. Couple of kills from the P250 as Antares. It's actually a team flash from Rez that caught Nork out. Could that cost them potentially? But the pistols are all that's left. Tapson, right place, right time. K takes the shot. There's a player above him. Tapson, he could have saved the round, but he's only going to get one. And I don't want to take anything away from Big here, but it does feel like exhaustion looks to be setting in. Obviously, same game played for NIP. They were in the same map. Uh, uh, you know, the, the same four overtimes on Nuke and everyone reacts differently, but this is not looking like the big that we usually see on Mirage. That we've seen all series long and NIP, they are taking full advantage of that and slamming their face in the dirt. Coming here off the back of a victory at DreamHack Masters Spring, big, they, they were looking poised to finally have that dream of another run in Cologne to relive the glory of 2018. And, and now it might all end on day three of the event. NIP, from a slow start to the day to a strong finish, if they are able to get this over the line, big, they are up against overwhelming odds. Four to 14. They need 10 in a row to equalize this one up. They need 12 in a row if they wanted to end it in regulation, and already they've lost a man early on. It's Zintares getting picked up, one of the keys to this big squad, already removed. NIP, the pressure's off, five on four, flashing towards mid, gives Tabson the re-peak, but he still gets bested by Rez. It's falling apart piece by piece for big, and now three v five as this bomb starts to make its way in through the apartments. Yeah, I think Big have already realized the penny's beginning to drop. Searson in the connector pushes the smoke, but that is not going to work wonders. Hampus low, still lives to fight another day. Tizian needs to mow down. There's a great spray, but he won't get the second kill. And at this point, every shot matters. Rez is dead as well. Tizian versus two Ooh. low HP players, and he's going to be able to hold his own. Standing tall, staying alive. Keto coming in through the middle. The AWP is going to get spotted and tapped, but no significant damage. Tizian has 20 seconds, he sees the barrel, he can spray, he can pray, and he might be able to ace. It's done. Tizian's kept the minute. Tizian's denied map point to NIP. It's five kills for Tizian. He's so dependable in these situations, and he still wants to turn it around here on Mirage. Five to 14, it's not gonna be easy. But if we can rely on Tizian to anchor this B bomb site in this fashion, then maybe there's still a glimmer of hope, but at this point, it really is a glimmer. They need nine more in a row like that to tie us up. Partial investment in from NIP. A hero AK on Hampus, and it's going to make its way out here at a ramp. Oh, it was no. blow for blow with Keto and doesn't come out ahead. Now, 3v5. NIP just with pistols, and maybe a sixth round locked and loaded for big. Old booster route. I'm going to go into the window. Plopsky just kind of hang it around on the edge, waiting for a kill to come his way. If you're NIP here, just take your time, mate. Just sweat them out. Make Big get nervous. Look for someone over-aggressing or making a mistake. You have such a lead. You have so much time. There's absolutely no rush. Rez is clearing out close positions. No one's even spotting this. Now, Zantares might check this on a timing. He's got his eyes on the window right now. Oh, the timing does not work for him. Propsky spots him now. These close players can look to overwhelm. Twist with one, but oh dear, smoke in his hands. And Torres trying to fight back with his own sidearm. Needs a reload here, but that smoke buys him time and gives him cover. Tizzy and hiding at the back of the site. Not just a B player. He's out here on A as well. The last thing they expected as the bomb gets dropped in the open. Good stuff for being in control of this round once again, but not for long. Plopsky finding one through the gap in the smoke and looking to fight into middle. The flash does nothing to Tabson up close and Searson holds the cross to the bomb. Oh, oh. Rez trying to play the trigger discipline and doesn't have that shot in time. Yeah. Searson holding down the line at six for big. Still a ways to go, cannot stress that enough. But these are the building blocks. These are the foundations being laid by Big right now. And then they've got to try and build the big house atop of it. 
NIP in with another buy. Mac 10 on Hampus. Rifles on the other four. Double Orp set up being bought out for big. One of those on Keto, the other on Searson, as you've come to expect. Look at those three smokes leave spawn very quickly. NIP, they're looking for a rush into this A site, and they're going to be splitting it from two in the middle. They slow it right down. They've actually completely halted. Searson, waiting in window, he sees that smoke, and now he knows that there's a man in this window area. Twist has dodged the nade and stays alive for now, but Keto and Tabs have made quick work of the ramp play big. Is this it? Is this the resurrection of the big boys? A little bit late in the game, but still in with a chance. Hampus there delivering one, but this should be the trade from Keto. Hampus giving it a little bit more room, but is that going to be enough? With a player in lower, this kill should be locked in for big, and indeed it is. Twist now very far away. Arm with only the AK and two points of health. As much as this comeback is attainable, it's doable. We've seen Big do it before. This is the map that they pulled a comeback on against G2 in that Dream Map Masters Finals that you talked about. But uh, the worry is, you know, as soon as a kill comes through, as soon as you lose a man, the worry that things could all just come unraveling. Big, back on Nuke at 27-26, had a five on three advantage. It was theirs for the taking. A fifth overtime was round the corner. NIP picked up a three on five to take us here to Mirage to close out the map. So Big have been burnt before. They don't want to assume anything. They don't want to make the mistake of you know, thinking you know, they've already won a round. They'll be taking things safe and slow as is Twist in this save. 10 seconds in B, he's gonna get away with it. Bigger trying to hunt down this gun, trying to deny any money, but they are far too far away from this man in the under. So it will be seven for Big regardless, but an AK saved onto an eco round. Last time we saw this buy from MIP, um, it was Hampus walking out A ramp and the rest of NIP up in the B apartments with that bomb. So do they wanna use the AK to open up a, a site? push behind it, or do they want to send it out on a lone scavenger mission, a lurk? I'll have to wait and see. There's not going to be a lot of money here for Nip. Again, you can like you can take the risk of force buying at this scoreline, but I don't see you know threat or hampers making that call at this point. There's no need to. It's not like you know you know big have low money or anything. They've got guns to fall back on. Double orp again. You have this hero AK up in the apartments with the rest of the gang. Nork is lurking on A with a Glock, hoping he gets some information or a push down the ramp towards him. Oh, Ampus <laughs> with the deagle. Oh, no, it's not like this. this. From a flashbang that's just arriving a little too late and Twist gets the kill. Oh, big day. They've tried to stumble back to their feet, but it's sticking the landing that can somehow be the hardest part. Five on three, double AWP as well. If this comes down to a retake, that is anything but ideal. They need to somehow chip away at NIP before that bomb goes down. And this is why I love what Nip are doing right here, right now. The, the only thing they've got going for them still is the man advantage here. And they're doing everything they can to deny any kind of information, any kind of kill over the big to give them an edge in this round. Now, Searson taking this control of B apartments at least gives that two-man hold over towards A the security to know that B is not the site in question right now. 30 seconds and almost everyone coming through Palace for NIP. Tizian, this man has been who we've been able to rely on time and time again, but this time he falls right away. Keto oh no. almost caught with a nade out back in CT. This could be the end for Big. Oh. As Keto will nail the shot. The bomb gets planted. It's double AWP in the retake. This is never ideal, but can these two Hold on for big. No. They can't. It's 15 for NIP. Match and series point. The money of big is down in the dumpster. This now could get snatched away from them on the back of a partial investment from NIP. This is the worry, right? All it takes is that kill, that one opener that can change everything. And Akito, he unscopes twice towards Palace and immediately gets peeked by the, the player with the AK. I think it was Twist, right after it, both times. That is just so unfortunate. 
And it's going to cost big more than they could ever imagine. Look at this buy. This is dire. This is not what you want against your tournament elimination lifeline system with a scout up in the apartments, fully flashed out. His barrel could stick out. They could be ready for this. They're just going to wall bang him. They know he's there. And now Twist elevating the pace off the back of that kill. Tabson's gone as well. NIP looking like they're about to send big home. Oh, Tizian's been given a second chance for that missed shot from Nork. Keto digging out Hampus Tizian. Can he deliver again? Last time at B, he was on for the ace. This time getting pressured. Tizian another, but it's a two on two. He's done his best he can. It falls to Keto and Zintares to keep the ESL one Cologne dream for big alive that little bit longer. Bomb dropped. Not rushing the plant or NIP, and this could work Ooh. in their favor. They spot the man in the apartments. That's Keto. Drops himself no. a smoke, but Nork through it, leaves it onto Zantares, who's now in a 1v2 of a lifetime. If there ever was a time for a vintage performance from this man, it is now. Deeg out rushing the site, trying as best he can to find these kills, but Zantares getting whittled down. Oh, no. Peace and there he falls, 